Why do they make boats like this? It's hard to reach. It's never anything on the front of the boat. It's water pumps, it's steering in the back. It's always difficult. Gotta go work on some blowers on the uh, 290 SLX. Uh, both, at least one of the blowers is tripping uh, the breaker when it uh, is turned on. So, could be a bad breaker, could be a bad switch. I think it's probably one of the two blowers that are in the engine room though. So we're gonna try that first. We're gonna do a couple of tests. Hopefully figure it out in an hour or so. All right, we're gonna try to diagnose why these blowers are failing. Uh, <clears throat> they're almost immediately tripping a breaker, which is right here. So we got one blower back there, you're seeing the tail of its exhaust. So I just reset the breakers. So let's try to activate them. Lights on. Blowers are not blowing, so the light is continuing to stay on. But we did blow the blower one back there. So, could be a number of things. I think it's probably the blowers though. So, we're going to detach them and then see if we can keep the breaker from tripping, which will tell us something. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip the leads leading to both bilge pups. That's one down. Tell you what, let's just try it. With one cut, let's see if that works. Actually, we didn't trip the breaker. But, we still didn't fire this bilge pump. All right, so the circuit is on, the switch is on. Means the line's hot. So, we're gonna come in here. And see if we're getting 12 volts. <clears throat> All right, let's put a DC meter on it. See where we're getting. So we got 12 there. So as expected, I think the blower is bad. So we are getting 12 volts now that they're disconnected. So I think probably both blowers are bad. At least one is, but they're cheap enough. We might as well do both at one time. So I got a pair of um, Atwood four inch uh, turbo inline blowers uh there should fit right back in there we're gonna get them connected up <clears throat> nothing in a boat is easy to get to I don't know if you can see this, but there's a lot of corrosion inside that motor. All right, good tight connectors. Turn my switch off. Let's make sure we get our airflow right. Airflow is pointing up. So this is our 
section line. Let's go ahead and get one of these on while we're out here. Nice and tight. Okay, let's fire it up and see if we get any airflow. Success on one. Let's make some watertight connections here. Why do they make boats like this? Make sure it's still working. And then we are gonna switch to the starboard side. So we're gonna repeat everything we just did. Turn the circuit back on. We're gonna hear the blower during this, but we're just gonna test this one. I'm getting 10 volts on that one. Uh, I'm just gonna test these batteries real fast. 13, 12, 12. So, ought to be all right. They are a little low though. Okay, let's knock this out. Shift this back in here. Oh, hey, you think that one failed? Here's its blade. Wiring it up. I'm going to go ahead and heat shrink that one real quick. Let's try it. We are moving air. Seriously, like everything on this boat is hard to reach. It's never anything on the front of the boat. It's water pumps, it's steering in the back. It's always difficult, but she's a good boat and she's a little dirty, but we'll clean her up soon and take her out. I spent years in Texas and corrosion was a thing, but man, if you can look inside there, this is demolished. This blade was laying down on the ground. That's just saltwater corrosion. That's what we're looking for. Success.
You guys ever seen how they build a dock in Florida? They bring in a little barge boat. This is actually a small one with a little uh, uh, crane thing. And they drop those posts in and they hammer them down into the water. It's pretty interesting.